Hey guys, it's Lisa from thewogpromosomeboon.com and today I want to show you how to make toasted coconut popsicles. So this video today is in collaboration with my friend Brittany. Uh, she does a vlog over at Naturally Brittany here on YouTube. I will link it below and up in the cards. It's funny because I've actually been following her for a really long time. I found her during one of my pregnancies, I watched her week by week pregnancies with one of her kids because she did weekly vlogs at that time on her pregnancy updates and she has four kids and I loved watching her because she does all kinds of natural content like natural home stuff and recipes. She even does a little bit of minimalism and like capsule style wardrobe and things like that so she's super fun to follow along. It's so fun today that I am doing a collaboration with someone that I just used to be a viewer of. So she's going to share with you some healthy snack ideas that she does for her kiddos. So after you get done watching my video make sure you head over there and check hers out. So now let's jump right into making the toasted coconut popsicles. I started this process by toasting up some coconut. To do this I just get about a cup and a half of shredded coconut in a cast iron skillet on medium to low heat stirring constantly until it becomes nice and toasty. Next I added two cans of coconut milk to a blender. I like to use the Trader Joe's brand because it only has coconut and water. I'll try to link below some similar good healthy brand. A quarter cup of coconut sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then one cup of the toasted coconut. Now blend it really really well because any of the toasted coconut that doesn't get incorporated will sink to the bottom of the popsicles. It actually tastes really great. You can omit it if you prefer but it really adds a nice caramelized kind of toasty flavor to the popsicles. I will link below a popsicle mold like mine. I actually misplaced the top part, so I just use some aluminum foil to hold the popsicle sticks in place. After they freeze for several hours, you can run them under hot water to get them out and then roll them in some toasted coconut for a garnish. Of course, you can omit this too, but it was tasty. Thank you for watching that video. My kids devoured these. They absolutely love them. They're so tasty. My husband came home and said, hey, did you save any of those popsicles you made? And I was like, yeah, we couldn't do that. So we ate them all up and we'll have to make another batch. They're super simple as you can see and we will enjoy making them again. You can grab the printable recipe on the blog. I will link it in the description box below if you're interested in grabbing that, but obviously it's a super simple recipe that you can probably even remember how to make. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos here every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Also, if you haven't stopped by Brittany's channel, be sure to head over there and check out her healthy snack ideas for kiddos for the summer. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Mm -hmm.